Let's write the number 4.25 as a fraction. So starting out, let's call it 4.25 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so it's still 4.25. Now we have the start of a fraction. When I see I have 1, 2 places after the decimal, I know I'm going to need to multiply by 100, and that'll give me a whole number. So I multiply 100 times 4.25. That gives me 425, and that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because when we divide 100 by 100, it's just 1. So we're really just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 100 times 1 is 100, and now we have a fraction. 4.25, it's equal to the fraction 425 over 100. We could simplify this, though. Let's do that. So 25 goes into 425 and 100 evenly. 425 divided by 100, that's 17. And then 100 divided by 25, that's just 4. So we could say that the decimal 4.25, it equals 425 over 100, or in simplest terms, 17 over 4. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator, so we could write it as a mixed number. 4 goes into 17 four times with 1 left over, bring the 4 across. So we could also say that 4.25 equals the mixed number or the mixed fraction 4 and 1 fourth. And that's equivalent to 17 fourths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.